Investing in NFTs can be very lucrative, but what can also give you great gains is investing in the backing token for that NFT gain. If you've seen the recent run-ups to the AXS token, which is the backing token of the Axie Infinity Network, then you know exactly what I mean. I'm gonna show you a token that works in a very similar manner that is going to be backing one of the longest and best run NFT play to earn games out there. Are you ready? Well, hey there, crypto friends. Thanks again for joining me. So today we're talking about a token that is backing one of my favorite play to earn games and works in a very similar way to the AXS token as it's an ecosystem token that is used for governance and it has a lot of actually play to earn use cases within the game. So if you have seen the run up for the AXS token and the popularity that has exploded with Axie Infinity, I think this token could be the next big gaming token to blow up in the same sort of way. We're talking about Splinterlands. This is a game that has been around since 2017 and it was the very first NFT based play to earn game that I ever played. This is what started it all for me and they can the team continues to improve upon the game and make it better and better with more unique ways to earn rewards and to play the game and get involved. Today we're going to be talking all about their new native token that is getting ready to launch. It's not yet launched. It's called the Splinter Shards token. So this is uh, going to be a governance token on their platform and we're going to dive all into that. I'm going to tell you why I think this could be the next big NFT game token to run, just like we've seen with AXS. But before we get started in all that, if you love gaming NFTs and earning money in crypto, make sure you subscribe to my channel and smash that like button if you want to continue to maximize your profits in gaming with me. All right, let's take a little bit of a, a closer in-depth look at this token. So the Splinter Shards token is going to be launched on the Binance Smart Chain. The reason why they're doing this and not on their own chain like Hive is because it has very fast transaction time. Of course, we know that. So does Hive, but it also has EVM compatibility, which I think is a really big perk for this governance token. Right now, uh, the Splinterlands game is actually uh, you know based on the Hive blockchain, but it, it, it enables a lot of different uh, bridges and ways to be able to interact with it on different blockchains. If you guys watch any of my Wax videos and you're a fan of Wax, you know that you can buy Splinterlands cards and land on the Wax blockchain. So they have a lot of good interoperability. They're one of the projects that has the most interoperability that I've seen out of any of the NFT gaming projects to date. Now, the good thing about this is the community is going to be governing this entire process. So this, this the token is essentially uh, going to work as the, the DAO for governance of this uh, token and uh, without that, uh, you know, you, you have a, a lot of issues with, you know, people not being able to to be hurt. So it's a decentralized way to manage the governance of the game in a community focused way. And so this is something that is going to be a hundred percent community focused. And so right now they're working on in-game voting mechanism that's going to be built, and the the community the community is going to be the one that is going to govern it using these tokens. So as an SPS token holder. I will have a say in how the game is going to be transformed and run. So I'll be able to put proposals or um, you know vote on any kind of upcoming uh, you know changes to the game itself. So this is a pretty powerful thing just in its in its right. So we know we know about governance tokens, but that's not really where the meat and potatoes of this project really lie. You know we know governance and that works and it's great. So I know if I have SPS staked, I can have that uh, that kind of power. But uh, you know the cool thing about this is that the interactions between Hive and, and the Binance Smart Chain for the game uh, are going to be handled by this Oracle system. So as a, a token holder, a part of my governance is uh, I get to designate what we call the call oracles. So these oracles are uh, going to be designated by the token holders, and they are users or other entities that are elected essentially, and they're responsible for running special software that relays re relevant information about game transactions from the Hive block or from the, the Binance Smart Chain uh, to the Hive blockchain and back and forth, right? So uh, you don't necessarily have, you can hold tokens. You don't necessarily have to be somebody who's running an Oracle, 
but just holding the tokens allows you to vote on who should be the one to run those things because the information needs to be a two-way street right if it's going from hive to binance smart chain there needs to be some sort of two-way street so the oracles are going to handle that function so uh, as an oracle you will receive sps rewards for participating which is great so you can actually increase your uh, your rewards your passive income if you're running this oracle software and also holding tokens so uh, the great thing about this too is that there's if you're a token holder there's no need for a binance smart chain wallet uh to earn or to vote with your sps unless you want one of course you can have one i, I mean i have one uh, but all tokens are going to be locked in an sps smart contract until a player chooses to transfer them to a bsc wallet so you can have all of your tokens locked in the contract automatically as you're earning them or as you're you're, you're acquiring them uh, through playing to earn and uh, you can still you don't have to have them like deposited in a bsc wallet they'll be locked in the contract until you want to transfer them so these types of transfers and and information going back and forth is part of what this oracle system is going to be maintaining so that, that is one part of the, the you know, actual underlying technology of how the SPS token is going to work. Now, uh, when it comes down to uh, users staking this, uh, you know, they'll be able to stake this on the smart contract and, uh, you know, like I said, using these tokens to be able to vote. But there's, uh, there's also a lot going on, like I said, with the play to earn elements, which we're going to get into here in a second. Now, one of the main aspects to realize here is the tokenomics for this uh, token uh, for the you know this SPS token uh, is is you know pretty small supply when it comes to the actual total supply of SPS token. There's only going to be three million Splinterland shards tokens out there, and these tokens are going to be released at varying different rates over about 65 months. So over the course of a couple of years, you're going to have a diff uh, these these tokens being released in a different kind of way. Now the cool thing about this is 60% of all tokens allocated are going to go to the play to earn ecosystem and for staking rewards. So that play to earn ecosystem is what is the meat and potatoes here, right? So these player rewards, as you play the Splinterlands game, you're playing Splinterlands, you're getting rewards. So uh, the staked SPS tokens uh, can be, but they're not required to be, which is one of the coolest things, is they can be staked on a particular player. That is huge news right there. If you guys don't realize what that means is if you have these SPS tokens and even if you don't play Splinterlands, you can stake them on a really good player, somebody that you know or a really great uh you know uh you know already established player in the Splinterlands uh, ecosystem and that'll allow both the Splinterlands holder and the player to earn rewards based upon the player's performance. So not only will you get some rewards as a token holder and someone who's staking on a player, but the player gets some of that too. So I think this is one of the most unique play turn elements I've ever seen thus far in a play turn game. And this and just that element alone makes me incredibly bullish on the SPS token for a long term hold and long term rewards and benefits for people who are investing early in this token. Now, obviously, you know, th these are going to be for ranked battles, right? So anytime you're playing uh, somebody who's playing in ranked kind of, uh, you know, structure, there are other uh, different modes on Splinterlands if you haven't played it. But the ranked is where you're going to get the meat and potatoes of the rewards. But also it's going to actually apply to the land expansion too. So the land expansion is something that they haven't, they haven't uh, gone into a lot of detail on because it's still a little bit farther off. But they've done their land sale. Uh, but uh, this, this land expansion is actually going to be almost an entirely new game within the current Splinterlands game. And so landowners uh, will have full control over the minting of completely new types of cards that can be used uh, in the existing game. So that's a pretty big thing when it comes down to, uh, you know, what lands offer you to do. But holding land will also be able to give you, uh, get you rewards as well. So there are going to be whole uh, uh, SPS rewards tied into land ownership too. So if you're thinking like, why did I buy all these Splinterlands lands and I can't do anything with them yet? Well, this is going to be one of the benefits of having some of that land uh, as well. So the SPS tokens are also going to be used for tournament prizes and for guild brawls. And like we said, also for staking and LP uh, pools, as well as rewards for running an Oracle. And we talked about that earlier. So, uh, the, the, you know, then we look at, well, the other uses of this is, you know, also the, the, the uh, foundational DAO, right, fund. Uh, SPS uh, uh, token holders can also make proposals on how to spend DAO funds. So that'll all be uh, tied into that too. So th this may change in the future, right? Well, we have uh, you know some funds that are being allocated right now to certain things, or maybe something new changes in the game, and you want to be able to say, hey, we, we think rewards should be allocated for this too. 
So there, that's also a pretty big uh, element there. Now, when it comes down to how do you get these SPS tokens? Well, when they launch here in the, uh, later here in July, uh, which is what, what they've slated to launch, they haven't given a hard date on the actual launch of the token, but initially there is going to be a massive airdrop. And when I say massive, I'm talking about 400 million SPS tokens or 33% uh, of the supply. Uh, is going to be, uh, you know, uh, airdrop to people who uh, are already players. So current player base and people who own uh, cards. So even if you're actually not really even playing, uh, if you own a bunch of, of Splinterlands cards, you'll be get you'll be getting some of this airdrop. You'll be getting some of these SPS tokens. So uh, these will be dropped over, uh, not not all at once. So it's not like there's going to be raining SPS tokens, but they're going to be dropped uh, on a daily basis over a year's period for this initial large airdrop. And so. Uh, almost everybody is eligible for these tokens and uh, you know even if you have your your cards uh, locked up in the marketplace because you're selling them or you're renting them out you'll be able to still get uh, the, those counted towards your your count of cards uh, as well as if you have assets on different chains so if you have some land or cards on wax you'll still be those will be counted same thing if they're on ethereum or or, or on tron or bsc all of these uh, these networks, they'll be counting how many cards you have total connected to your account, and you'll get uh, you know SPS tokens based upon that. So, cards, packs, land claims, anything, everything, any asset that you own that is Splinterlands based, DEC as well, uh, you'll also be getting a, a portion of SPS based upon that. So uh, there'll be a lot of there'll be a lot of, uh, of bonuses to having all the different different assets when the SPS starts to drop. Uh, and, and that was, I think, one of the other really big things that we talk about here when it comes down to getting this token. I mean, it will be available, obviously, on exchanges, but getting that airdrop, a nice fatty airdrop, now is a time to start uh, getting your Splinterlands collection all beefy, right? So you can get in on this airdrop as easy as possible uh, and, and you know, don't have to wait until it hits the market and starts skyrocketing. You just own a bunch of cards or DEC or lands, and that way you'll be able to, uh, you know, reap as many SPS benefits and rewards as you can. So, so that's what I'm saying. So e even if you have all those things, uh, you know, locked up right now, you don't have to worry. Uh, but now might be a good time to be looking at expanding your Splinterlands collection if you don't have one already and getting started with it uh, right now. So, um, so yeah, th those are some of the, law the, the major benefits and how the SPS token is going to work and how you can get that SPS token here early without even having to buy it. Just getting on board and buying some Splinterlands cards before they do this airdrop snapshot, which is going to be happening later this month. So I'm, I'm incredibly bullish on the SPS token, and I hope after this video you are too. I'm beefing up my Splinterlands collection. It's already pretty beefy because I've been collecting for years now, so I definitely am going to be getting a lot of these rewards, and I do think that this token has a potential to blow up just like Axie Infinity's AXS token has done because it gives so much value uh, to people that are holding it. Uh, and a lot more value, in my opinion, than the AXS token is currently giving to its token holders. So that's all we have for today, folks. Hope you guys like this information on the SPS token, the Splinter Shards, Splinterlands Splinter Shards token. Uh, it, let me know what you guys think about it. Are you guys Splinterlands players? Are you actively looking forward to this? Uh, is this new information that you didn't know about? Uh, let me know in the comments below. That's all we have for today, folks. Until next time, stash that crypto, friends.